Hello. In this video, I am going to show you how to install an Exchange 2010 Edge Transport server. All of the prerequisites are the same as if you're going to do a typical installation, but you also need to do a couple of extra things. So we're going to go ahead and launch Server Manager, which is one of the things you have to do that's different on an Edge Transport server you have to add the Active Directory Lightweight Directory Services role. So I've got that installed so we can move on. The other thing you need to do that's different from a typical installation is you have to go into the system properties of the computer and validate that the computer is in a workgroup. This device should not be a member of the domain. Additionally, if you go into the computer name, so we'll change settings and then go to click the change button and click the more button. There is a primary DNS suffix that's been named here. I've already done this. I added bkmail.local because this is a demonstration. But if you're going to have an edge transport server, you have to define the DNS suffix in a workgroup scenario. So there's actually a fully qualified domain name. So that would be et01.bkmail.local. So we'll cancel that out because I've done the work, but make sure you do that or at least check that if you're going to install an Exchange Edge Transport server. So you'll see here is the full computer name. That's the fully qualified domain name. So I've done my prep work and now I want to start the installation of the Edge Transport role. So I'm going to go ahead and browse to the DVD drive and I'm going to launch setup.exe. So I've done step one and step two. They're grayed out. I now need to do step three, which is choosing the exchange language option. And I'm only going to install languages from the DVD. And now I'm going to install exchange. This takes a little time, so I'm going to fast forward. So we've got our Exchange Server 2010 Setup Wizard present, and I'm going to click Next past the introduction. I'm also going to accept the terms in the license agreement and click Next. I don't want to participate in error reporting because this is just a demonstration and this device actually does not have access to the internet, so I'll click Next. And now the installation type is not going to be typical. We're going to choose a custom Exchange Server installation and I'm going to leave the installation path in its default location. I'll then click Next. From here, I'm going to click on the Edge Transport role because that's what I'm installing as an Edge Transport server. Notice that the other roles become grayed out, but we do install the management tools. And then we'll click on Next. And I do not want to join the Customer Experience Improvement Program right now because this is a demonstration. But you may want to when you install this professionally. Uh, what this is, is you'll send information to Microsoft on how you utilize Exchange so they have data to help improve the product. We'll click on Next and we'll click on Install. This takes a little bit of time, so I'm going to fast forward through the installation process to save a little time. All right, our installation is complete, and now we need to click the Finish button. And we need to reboot our server. You will see in the Exchange Management Console that we now have an Edge Transport server. This concludes my presentation on how to install an Exchange 2010 Edge Transport Server. 
Please check back for additional videos on configuring your Edge Transport server in addition to other exchange related videos. This is BrickHouseLabs.com and thank you very much for watching.